didn't know you cared. Got to keep the customers happy no matter how down in the dumps you are. That's for Rosa. You down in the dumps? What's the matter? What do you know about love, Denise? What kind of love? You know, the romantic kinds. You know, guys and girls, the birds and bees, that kind of stuff. I mean, you're an older guy. You've been around. You can tell me. You stay away from me. That's all. Well, you see, in a nutshell, love is like a uh, roller coaster. Fast and exciting for a short period of time. You don't get too used to it. Thanks for cheering me up. No, I'll tell you. <laughs> love is uh, getting somebody another cup of coffee before they have to ask for it. <laughs> I think I get the hint. <laughs> hey, James. Hey, Blackie. Hey, Bob. Hey, look what the exhaust blew in. What are you doing? I thought you were supposed to be at the movies or something. I'm working. Well, um, Jake and Rosa are going to the movies. Uh, who's your friend? Oh, this is Coop. I mean, uh, well, her name is Miss Cooper. Kathleen Cooper is her name. She's my teacher. She's, well, she's like, she's my professor. She teaches. <laughs> Awful lot of names for one person, now. <laughs> nice to meet you, Miss Cooper. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Bye. What about me? What about you? Don't I get an introduction? Oh, yeah. Lou, Coop, Coop, Lou. Nice to meet you, Lou. <laughs>
I know the answer in my brain, why do I have to do all this other junk? Well, that's the whole point. See, if you don't use the formula, then the answer's invalid. Oh, oh, I, I... Well, Robert, do you understand? Yes, I do understand what you're doing. But you're... Lou, you're spilling stuff all over here, Lou. Don't spill it yourself! I think you ought to leave her alone for a little oh, bit. Oh, I wouldn't think of it. Really. Oh, Mr. Holt. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, Mr. Baldwin, I didn't know this was your neck of the woods. I own this woods. You know that. Well, I gotta remember that every time I pour a new sidewalk or put up a new pavilion, that you are responsible for putting this expo together. Damn right I am. Come on. You couldn't think of something that good. You better watch yourself here if you want to keep working down here. You got nothing to do with my employment. That's just an idle threat, and you know it. Well, speaking of unemployment, I guess you would rather be back at the cottage here, cleaning up diapers. As a matter of fact, I would. I'd much rather be there than here. And I'd rather be poor. What about you, Rose? What would you rather be? I would rather be at the fifth row from which set. I tried to get a ticket tonight, but couldn't. But can you imagine seeing Rihanna all over the vibe on stage? Uh, once did you decide to come? Nice story. Quickly. We have to leave. This is so wonderful. It's such an emergency. Natalie Dearborn is going to be shot. We don't have bad at least. It's Connie State Bank Rush. It's Jeff. We've got to get over there. Oh, that's right. We can't. You have to come to the hospital. Why are you not I'll talk to you about it later. Let's get out of here. No, that's everything. Look, if Valentine has any questions, have him give me a call at uh, General Hospital here in Port Charles. Otherwise, tell him... No, tell him I'll keep him informed of any further developments. All right, fine. Bye-bye. Did you come in with Sally? Uh, one more phone call to make. You go ahead. I'll be right on. Luke's late. Let me talk to him. Let me just take a wild guess and assume you're talking about Luke. Tiffany, it is Connie. It is very important that I talk with him. Oh, I'm sure it is. Look, is he there? Of course he's here, darling. In fact, he's over talking to Greg here. Yeah. You tell him it is an emergency. Luke, darling, telephone. It's an emergency. What? Yeah, what's happening? Hello? Honey, there's been a shooting. Natalie's been injured. I think you better get over to general. What happened? Is she all right? Look, there's no time now. I'll see you at the hospital, right? Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Oh. Natalie, it sounds like she's been shot. If anybody wants me, I'm the general. You heard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to excuse me, Judy. I'm not going to find very much piano. Oh, that's okay. I didn't feel like singing anyway. Donna, I like it pink inside. How about you? How do you like it? If you don't mind, could we just get back to our work here? You know, I was thinking. You and I don't even know each other that well. Why don't we just take a little break, put the pencil down, and, and we can talk about each other. I mean, I don't know anything about you. Just that you're a movie buff. Here. Blackie, another time. I'd just like to get through this chapter so I can get home and get some sleep. Sleep? You don't need any sleep. What, are you kidding? If I don't get eight hours a night, I'm a wreck the next morning. I bet you're beautiful in the morning. <laughs> you are really too much. What? I'm serious. Well, so am I. We only have four more equations, so let's get to them, okay? <sighs> All right. Y plus X equals boring. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I love that boy, and he is my nephew. A minor technicality worth a million bucks. I don't want anything to do with that money. That boy's fatherless, just like I was. I suppose Alan doesn't count. Well, he's not around much. So what, are you volunteering for the job here? That's right. At least I care for that boy. Let me tell you something, man. I cared about that kid, too, before you were even in the picture. The only reason you married Susan Baldwin is for her money. And that's the only reason you tolerated that kid. Oh, well, is that so, huh? That's a real interesting theory. She don't know anything about me. It's too easy to look through glass, buddy. Looking through glass? How about looking through a mirror? Because that's what happens when you look at me. You know, beneath all this country boy stuff, you're, uh, 
There's a heart that's uh, just all mercenary. At least I got a heart. The only thing I want to give that kid is the same thing the Holtz gave me, and that's friendship and support and a whole lot of love. Oh, that's great. Everybody in town here is running for mayor, and you're running for sainthood. What about Heather? What happens when she gets back? You gonna move in with her? You gonna take Shirley along, too? Maybe I'll just take him off everybody's hands. I'm sure the family's gonna love that. I'm also family, and I think that even Monica would prefer me to Heather. Let's not get too unrealistic here. If you think you're getting that kid or his money, you are the one who's being unrealistic, Baldwin. Thanks for dinner, huh? I'm not buying you dinner. Hey, come on, you wouldn't take advantage of a poor old country boy now, would you? All right, you owe me, country boy. Don't hold your breath. Here it is. Profile on the second coming. Why don't you read it over and see if there's anything you might want to add before we print it? Well, it's kind of hard to improve on perfection. Let's see what I can do. When can I talk to her, Not Bobby? Right now. Soon. We'll know more later. It's police business. Honey, later. What happened? It's a very long story. Do you know who shot her? Intimately. Robert wouldn't say anything in the car. All I know is Natalie was shot, that's it. Jesse? It's a side wound. Dr. Brown's with her now. How serious? Well, we have all our four standing by. She's been in and out of consciousness ever since it happened. Your gun? No, hers. I was trying to subdue her. One more second, I would have had the gun. Went up at point blank range. She was waiting for you? Yeah. Communication was right. In fact, she's mobile. How did she get into my house? That is a very good question. WSB men didn't even see her enter. She must have got a copy of the plan, so... When can we talk to her? I don't know. We're waiting to hear now. Wait for the about it. Let's work out. The bullet missed all of the major organs. Right now, it's lodged in the tissue on her side. We're taking her into OR. Dr. Brown is going to administer a local, and he'll perform the surgery to remove it. When can I talk to her? I'm sorry, Robert. You're going to have to talk to Dr. Brown. <clears throat> Doctor, uh, Commissioner Scorpio, which our police department, I'd like to talk to you, patient. As soon as she's in recovery. This is very important. Well, I'm sure it is, Commissioner, but at the moment, the patient is barely conscious. You can talk to her in the, in the recovery room. Come on, let's get her in here. Listen, go with them. Stay outside the operating theater. I'll be there shortly. Yes, sir. Well, looks like she's going to be all right. I was beeped at the theater. I can't believe me, Holly, dear boy, was shot. Surprising, yes. Well, how is she? I'm not sure. Anyone know who shot her? I did. You? Uh, it's official business, Lee. Um, this isn't the place to go into it, but suffice to say, it was an act of self-defense. Well, whatever the story, I'm going to see how she's doing. Oh, I'm coming, too. All uh, right. Uh, we'll be up shortly. Well, I think I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and call Valentine. You haven't called him yet? No, I called him right after I spoke to you. But he wants me to keep him updated on what's going on. Glad to know it's not serious. Listen, you want to uh, come and grab a cup of coffee with me? I'll buy. I think I should wrap things up down here first. Okay, let me jump on 10. I'll be back five minutes. Uh, the minute we get permission, I want to talk to her. That makes two of us. After all, I didn't finish my last conversation with her. Uh, tell Valentine that everything is under control. Right. Don't tell me you're sending us home. To the border mains. I'll pick you up there later. Why not I? Because the police won't let you in. The police? That's where Natalie was shot. I had no idea. Uh, yeah. Look, uh, I'll fill you in later. Uh, Grant, I wonder if you'd mind seeing the women, huh? Grant? I'm sorry, Robert. I, I was just thinking about Natalie. <laughs> As you know, we work together. Yes, I know. Uh, <clears throat> if you'd like to stay, uh, but I just thought that we would prefer to be driven. That's all right, Grant. No, do you stay. I can get us home. No, no, that's quite all right. There's really nothing I can do here, Celia. I'll call the minute I have any news. Fine. Let's go, ladies. Uh, you go ahead. I'll be right there. I promise I won't be late. What were they doing in our house? 
haven't found that out yet. It has something to do with the disc, doesn't it? Natalie's connected. Well, that uh, remains to be seen. You sure you don't want company? Positive. But I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't uh, air any of your suspicions in front of Grant. You mean what I said about Natalie? I want to keep this quiet for as long as I can. Oh, really? When this all hits the fan, all the hell is going to break loose. Are you sure you won't tell me what's going on? not too serious. Look, tell Valentine I'm going to know more after she gets out of surgery. Uh, yeah, thanks. All right, I don't want any WSB talk. I don't want any police talk. I just want a straight story. All right. Natalie was shot. I know that. How serious is it? From what they've said so far, not very. As a matter of fact, they're operating on her to remove the bullet. What are her chances? Hey, it's not a question of chance. Look, if she's going to die, I want to know what the... No, no one is going to die. It's a superficial wound. They're not even knocking her out. I'm just going to give her a local, and then we'll be able to talk to her. Oh, okay. Well, that's encouraging. Yeah, it should be. Who shot her? I did. What the hell did you shoot her for? Look, I didn't have a choice. She had a gun on me. She intended to use it. Then we were right. She isn't who she says she is. Yeah. Not even close. Who is she? The person Robert and I was looking for. The WSB? This is official business, Luke. Are you telling me that she... Yeah. She's a spy for the DVD. No, not really. Not if you really think about it. Are you okay? Well, I'm a little surprised like you are, but physically, yeah, I'm all right. When can I see her? After she's questioned by Robert and you. When is that going to be? When the doctors say it's all right. No, wait a minute. I want to see her now. Well, I'm not I waiting for doctors. You. I'm not waiting for you and Robert and everybody else to talk to her. I want to talk to her now. Why? What's so for you? Personal. You can be there. You can be there. I just need a, I need a couple of minutes with her. All right. Let's see what I can do. Okay, she's on 10? Yeah, come on. I'm headed that way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I know exactly what to do. General Hospital will continue in a moment.